Why do we love CPU mining so much? Well, depending on the algorithm, your settings could completely change. Let's find out why. All right, welcome everyone, Rabbit here. Here are our two recent builds we have made. They are identical rigs down to the T, and I'm loving them so far, and I'm sure you guys are as well getting a lot of good feedback on them and this is a wonderful community i didn't actually realize how many cpu miners were actually out there or getting into it so thanks to you guys for liking those videos now we are looking into xla which is scala or scala but i just want to show you something right quick so this is the rabid mining youtube channel and supposedly it looks like corsair has been building the rm rabid mining psus <laughs> that's just a joke but yeah that's pretty sweet though, huh? The old RM. So maybe we'll just nickname ourselves RM and Corsair stole our name. Okay guys, so yeah, this is rig one right here. So we're gonna take rig two back off, send it in by my workstation back to a old test bench type of style so it's nice and close, move it to Windows, and we're gonna be doing some more testing on it. Again, if you're looking for power supplies, ZSX breakout boards, all sorts of good, cool power and stuff, check out Parallel Miner and my links in the description pick them up today because they are slowly running out of stock so supply is limited we are back on our little test rig spot our test rig is not in use still but we do have it on our workbench here power meter hooked up and here we are in the bios i just want to point out i went back to auto and all core that way we are going to be tuning this in windows with ryzen master because we do have our uh high high tuned uh, settings and our efficiency settings so we can bounce back and forth between the two and see exactly what type of performance we are getting xmp profile is on still right now and our dram clock tuner settings let me just scroll down here are still in to whatever we set at. i can't even see them because that's the wrong screen anyway <laughs> we are still tuned up on the ram but we will be changing that later so you can see the difference okay guys so first things first uh, this isn't a quick how-to video we're not going through wallet setup and miner setup we're just showing you how settings can change upon different coins now here we are in our rig two here as you can see we're only doing 7909 hashes uh 7.9 kilohashes and here we are on our actual workstation and it's pulling 12,000. now what is the difference here let's have a quick look okay so i brought up rise of master so you could see the settings here on rig 2 which is getting uh 7,911 hashes we're sitting at our our good overclocks we're at 4.2 gigahertz there 4.2 4.3 and 4.3 and our memory clock and fabric clock is 1600 now on this one we're pulling 11,921 hashes we're only cranked up to 3.6 gigahertz all core this is our economy settings from xmr again we are at 1600 on the memory clock and the fabric clock but what else could be different here now we are running an older version of xla rig 5.1 versus 5.2.2 now i don't know if that really matters i probably should swap uh try each miner and both to be 100 percent accurate but for the most part this is using cl 16 ram and we are using cl 14 ram tighter faster timings now i'm going to turn xmp profile off i'm going to get rid of dram calculator timings we're going to see if this will change this at all whatsoever here we are on our rig two and we are going to our xmp profile it is on profile one i'm just going to try and do this well on camera so you guys can see now i went, just went to disable so it is now disabled i'm just going to make sure our uh, our tuning clocks are also disabled our see our when we used our dram calculator our settings are still in here for tighter timing so i am going to disable those as well or actually i'm going to leave them as is and then we're going to come back and disable them and see exactly how it runs so just to confirm we are going to f10 there you can see we are disabling our xmp profile save and we're going to reboot into windows and see what this miner looks like okay so we are at xmp off we're at 1200 on the memory clock and the fabric clock 
And we actually did lose a little bit of performance, so it didn't play out how I expected this one to actually do it. So I'm going to pull out those DRAM calculator timings and see if we notice any type of difference. Okay, so you guys probably already did notice this, but half my threads uh, for my CPU were actually asleep and not even working. I went back and forth to figure out what was going on. And this one you did not have to do with the older version, but this newer version... You did have to put in this little command here for 24 threads because it is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. I'll just close this now. And now we actually have all of our uh, threads there mining away. They're not asleep. So now let's look at our actual hash rate. There we go. So we're sitting at the 14, 13 to 14,000 range. Nothing really going on. This is with no XMP or anything. So now we're going to go in reverse order, turn on XMP profile and see if we gain or lose hashes. Okay, so XMP profile is on now and it looks like it didn't really do anything. We're the same as without our XMP profile, at least on the CL14 uh, RAM. You can see our clocks here, 16 and 16. So it is running at 3,200 megahertz. And here I did crank this one back up. And this does have XMP in. And we're doing 13.3 now, 13.3. So I'm going to turn XMP profile off on this one. Now, this remember, this is CL16 RAM. And it is 32 gigabytes. This is CL14 RAM. And it is only 16 gigabytes. So... We're going to do this. Now we're going to turn XMP off on the, my main workstation here and see if our hash rates change from 13,000. Uh, yeah, just a little over 13,000 here with our profile settings of our overclock. So we are running 4.1 and everything. This is the high stable settings that the clock tuner found for this rig. If you don't know what I mean by all that, check out our past videos and builds and tweaking and you'll know what I mean by the Ryzen clock tuner. So yeah, I'm going to turn off XMP profile and see if we can get above 13,383 hashes. Okay, so we are booted back up. We are running a little over 1,000 on the memory there and 1,200 on the fabric. So XMP is off for like 2,190 some megahertz on our RAM. And we actually gained about 100 hashes over what we were previously doing with XMP on. So that's quite interesting. When it does come to XLA mining, you can go with cheaper CL16 RAM and not even need to use XMP profile at all. Instead of like say you're mining uh, XMR or something, which does use a little more power and whatnot and requires more expensive CL14 tighter timing RAM. Now I'm just going to turn XMP profile off on this. So we are at, uh, what are we at here? 203 watts actually mining on this when it's cranked up so we're going to turn xmp off again and see if we can reduce our power that way in the long term if you plan on mining xla and building a rig for it you can get cheaper ram and save money based on your xmp settings so we're just going to see how much this actually drops from xmp so 203.2 watts right there okay xmp is now off our clocks 12 and 12 so 2400 megahertz we are at 13,600 on our expensive CL14 uh, RAM and we are at 185 it's been bouncing between 180 and 185 now it's picking up right when I go to record of course it does so we were at 203 so we did lose like 20 watts so turning XMP off actually drops about 20 watts off your system when mining so there you go. If you plan on building rigs for Scala, XLA, some people do find it more profitable. There's lots of different things to do. I do have three miners, so maybe, you know, I could do like a Monero Ocean versus XLA versus Veriscoin and do a one-week competition or something somewhere in the future and see what actually comes out and wins once we actually we have to tweak everything perfectly for each coin. But yeah, so that's for the most part is how it works. So Scala XLA, you can make a little cheaper rig going with CL16 RAM over CL14 and turn XMP off and save you even some more power. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Rabbit out.